Certified True TV. Smash the like button. We are back. Officially. It is Wednesday, March 15th, Let's get into it, man. Let's get right into it. All right, audio sounds good. So, I've been away, man, chilling, chilling like a villain. Now I'm back. So, let me go through the article of tonight. I will be doing more streaming. Uh, so, let's read what it says interesting woman sparks furious dating debate with viral story after ditching a hinged match because he refused to pay an extra three dollars to get cheese on his burger so what do you think was it in the right daf na diamant uh took to took to tiktok to share a story about a date gone wrong. The NYC base content creator said the man refused to pay three extra dollars for cheese. She caused a heated debate about dating Azik or Astik. I might have pronounced that wrong, my bad. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. A woman has sparked furious debate about. Uh, dating Estique um, after she revealed her date refused to pay an extra three dollars for cheese on her on his burger sending the web into a spin and this is why I'm talking about it Daphna Diamond from New York City took to TikTok to share a conversation she heard from the table next to her what happened to be on a date or sorry who happened to be on a date while at a restaurant Telling the story as if she experienced it herself, Daphna began ranting about her hinge date in a viral video that garnered over 7.9 million views. She explained that while dining together, the man refused to pay an extra few bucks for cheese on his burger, which prompted her to pay the entire check, walk out on the date, and block his number. Now, this is where I come. See, I've been talking about this for a long time, a long time. I mean, this is the modern woman, the modern woman's mindset. This is like your average modern woman's mindset. You know, the average woman's mindset, modern woman's mindset, they don't give a fuck what you want. It's all about what they want. And when you real, when a man realizes that as soon as possible, it's all about what they want, not what you want. Life becomes very easy because you just do what you want as a man. Yes? I mean, this is this, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. This is absolutely crazy, right? So wait a minute. You come on a dating streaming service. <laughs> Yo, I'm trying my best not to laugh. So you come on a dating streaming service. No cap. 
<laughs> you know, it's funny because she's not really she's not really looking to date. Like the guy that matched with her on Hinge, she's not really looking to date him. She's not really looking to date him. Like she's really not. Cuz I mean, you match with the guy on Hinge, you go on a date with him, and then he buys cheese he he doesn't order cheese on his burger. And so what you do is you block him, pay for the meal and walk away. This is some coward shit, man. This is some coward shit, man. Sucker culture, man. This is crazy, man. I mean, he probably was a beta male. Guaranteed. Beta! Guaranteed. So I was having sex with my girlfriend, beta, little beta. Uh, beta! At the moment, I live with my mother. Beta! Everything you're doing is wrong. Beta male that you don't respect clearly because you're a strong, like independent, strong independent woman. I don't need no, no man. Like, y'all impress me. And so, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. So, this is her here. Uh, I just got back from a hinge date. And see, over here on this platform, we've been going on the dating streaming service and showing why this guy wasted his time he literally wasted his time and i tell young men not to waste their time and she says yes it's a three and she says yes it's three dollars extra telling the stories as if she experienced it herself daphna uh began ranting about her hinge date in a viral video that got okay i read that um so it says guys i just got back from a hinge date she said in the beginning of the video daphna who continued to continue to tell the story um as if it happened to her, so that she and her date had scheduled a dinner. She said that things were going well until the wait waitress came over. So if things are going well and the waitress comes over, what happened? <laughs> what happened, though? Davina said that her date ordered a burger and decided to forgo the cheese because the server noted a slice of cheddar would be $3 extra. The New York City-based content creator said she was shocked when she, or sorry, when he refused to hand over a few more dollars for cheese i'm sitting over there and i'm like what the actual f then daphna revealed that um her date began to complain about having having to pay extra for everything uh after eating her food she stood up and she said she was going to the restroom but ended up walking out on her date I told you ladies men are not chasing modern women like they used to the ladies that really want to get a man you're going to have to put in some work to try to get a man. What's up, Ken Masters? What's going on? He just popped in. What's going on, brother? How are you doing, my guy? Yeah, man, I've been, uh, I'm going to be streaming back on my other platform soon, probably next week sometime, but I have some time off coming off this weekend, so we'll do some dating app content or sit back, relax, you know, do our thing over here, man. This is a collective effort. This is just not just me. I'm glad people support and like my content because that's why they're subscribing. It might be a little bit slow, but... Nevertheless, they do enjoy it. So she says, I just got up and I was like, I'm going to the restaurant for a second. And I took my purse and I went to the waitress and I was like, hey, I just want to pay the bill because you're strong and independent. Nobody can do anything. You know what I'm saying? And I just paid the bill and walked out of the restaurant and I text them. Um, the check is taken care of. You should have gotten the cheese. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Oh, let me come back on camera. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. He should have not. He should have. No, he did what exactly what he was supposed to, what he was supposed to do. He dodged the bullet. He literally dodged the bullet. Why should he go get cheese? Because you say so. You're not his wife. You're not his girlfriend. He didn't even smash you, and you're already demanding for what him what he should do. So no, he did what he he did what a man is supposed to do. Uh, do you want cheese on your burger? No, I don't. I don't want I don't want cheese on my burger. No, thank you. And if that's a and if that's a no deal for you, uh, for you, Miss Modern Woman, I guess you're gonna have to take your money or take your dick and go home, right? That's what you're gonna have to do. Lit literally, that's what you did, right? Come on, man. Come on, man. I tell you guys, <laughs> they don't understand. They don't get it. <laughs> like they just don't get it, man. You know, they just don't get it. So he didn't get nothing, but he dodged a bullet, in my humble opinion. All right? Uh, the check is taken care of. And I blocked him. Well, this is what they do. This is what they do. So when a man disagrees, or sorry, when they disagree with what a man is doing, they block you. Interesting, right? 
The video has caused a heated debate um, about whether her date was a walking red flag or if he was just being financially illiterate. Illiterate. Or sorry, financially literate. My bad. This is this is how this is how far we've fallen. Like literally. This is how far we've fallen, Ken Masters. This is how we fall. We've fallen, everybody, because if a man if a man can't take a woman on a date, order what he wants. Like anytime I go with women on dates, I get what I want. They get what they want, and it's not an issue. But now because of social media and because of all this different stuff, it is an issue. That to me is crazy. But hey, what do I know? I don't know nothing, right? I don't know a goddamn thing. <laughs> Um, so where are we at now? It says one user said, um, I would defend the way women act all day long, but some people are just insane. Yeah. Three dollars for cheese is is a joke. So what did so what did you oh, sorry, what you did was horrible. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, it was terrible. It's toxic. It's toxic femininity. This is what it is. They don't talk about this though. You know what I'm saying? I'm lucky to have a platform to even talk about this. It took a bit to get uh, my platform to where it was, but we talk about modern women's talks of femininity over here. That's what we're doing because we're men. We're going to do what we, we're supposed to do as men. But anyway, let me go. Let me do this reaction video. Let me do this reaction video to this modern woman. Uh, and this is fourth. I think this is third or fourth wave feminism. Why am I doing this? Ma'am, you, oh man, ma'am, you swiped right and swiped left, and you're not even happy with the pick that you picked. So, ma'am, and this says 8.1 million views, by the way. That's why I'm talking about this. But, ma'am, you got to pick the caliber of man. You got to pick the kind of man. You got to pick the quality of man that you say would be a good match and a good fit for you. But yet, you walked out over three dollars worth of cheese. That could have been your husband. That could have been a guy that would lay his life on the line to protect you. But no, $3 cheese is, is deal breaker. I guess so. This is where we live. This is where we are. This is where we are. I mean, like. So we scheduled a dinner. We are sitting at the restaurant. Seems very nice. We had a catch fish. Things are going well. And the waitress comes over. She wants to take our order. And I said, okay, I'm going to take the Bronzino. And he said, I'm going to take the burger. And the waitress asked him, okay, how do you like your burger? I said, how do you like this burger? And do you want some cheese on your burger? And he asked, is this going to be extra? And she says, yes, it's $3 extra. And he said, okay, then never mind. Thing over there, and I'm like, what the actual fuck? I'm hungry. I'm going to eat my Bernzino and see what happens. And he's like, oh, my God, you have to pay extra for everything these days. And I'm like, yeah, it's New York City. So I got my Bernzino. He got his burger. We were eating. And once I was satisfied, I got up. And I was like, I'm going to the restroom for a second. I took my purse. And I went to the waitress. And I was like, hey, I just want to pay the bill. And... I just paid the bill and walked out of the restaurant and I texted him. So I texted him, the check is taken care of, you should have gotten the cheese. And I blocked him. Now, now we can get into the show because we're going to show you why a modern woman of her caliber would block a modern man of his caliber because he didn't get cheese. Think how crazy that is. So you have to be perfect. But yet they don't show us perfection. Interesting, right? Like what? This woman like on what? earth, you could do anything you wanted and you chose work. Oh, every day I get closer to an unattainable goal. A one woman lifestyle brand forever! Well, I just used a dark web account to hack Goldman Sachs, remove trillions of dollars, and purchase everything your company offers. Congratulations, you're officially the most successful businesswoman on earth. Fortune fulfilled. And now I'm emptying your bank accounts and giving the money back to Goldman Sachs because I sit dead center on the alignment chart. You! Son of a bitch! How does it feel to achieve your dreams? Empty, right? Like when Decap. All right, let's go. A couple of questions. I'm going to move around just a little bit, but there's a couple of questions I want to. I want to see if they're going to be woman enough to answer these questions. But it just goes to show you, man. 
They don't care. What What is the three things? They don't care, they don't know, and they believe lies. So that's the question of the night. Which one are you? <laughs> Literally, which one are you? What's going on, ma'am? What's up, love? How are you? I'm doing good. What's you all bundled up over there? Like, what, what you got going on over there? So let me let me ask you, where does chocolate come from? A plant. Okay, who minds who minds who minds the chocolate plant? Do you support child slavery? Do I? I'm sorry, come again? Okay, you got music playing, man. So you got to turn off the music, man. No, I can't hear. I heard what you said. I want you to repeat what you said. No, I'm not going to repeat it. Do I support, no. Do I support child no. slavery? No. So, ma'am, clearly, you? clearly, clearly, you're not going to, you're, you're not going to answer the question. So that's cool. So enjoy no, your chocolate. So enjoy, listen. enjoy your chocolate. So enjoy your chocolate. Have a good night. Thank you. I sure will. Appreciate okay. you. Okay. Well, sir. That's it. That's it. Enjoy. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna ar- I'm not gonna argue with you, dumbass. I don't I don't smash you, so I don't, I'm not gonna argue with you. Do you? Yeah, ma'am. So you're gonna go to bed thinking about do you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We know. I'm not gonna argue with you. There's no point. There's no point. I don't have time for it. You can't answer questions. You want me to repeat? <laughs> what's going on, ma'am? Yeah, what's going on? Yeah. Nothing much. Where does chocolate come from? <laughs> Where does chocolate come from? God. <laughs> ma'am, oh, ma'am, let me let, let, let me let me ask you. Do you support um, child slavery? No. So, if you. if so, if child slavery was producing something, would you stop buying that product? Probably. You probably would, even though you just said yeah. you don't support child slavery. What do you mean by that? Like, what? What is? What? Okay, you guys, tell me what you're talking about. Ma'am, do your own research. Do you do? Do you have the access to the internet? Yes. So, are you going to be on here tomorrow? Because I'm going to ask you the same question. Where does chocolate come from? <laughs> who minds chocolate? Why? Who support? Who is supporting child slavery that's selling chocolate? So, ma'am, let me let, <laughs> let me let me ask you this: uh, Do you believe lies? Do I believe lies? Yeah. Do you believe lies? Probably if they if they lie really good and might be deceived, why do you? Oh hell no, hell no, I don't. You know why I don't? Because I do my own research, why? and I'm able I'm able to understand what bullshit is. You know what bullshit is? Oh yeah, yeah I know what bullshit is. What's bullshit? Bullshit is people who tell lies. <laughs> but you believe you you said you probably believe them. So I don't believe bullshit, man. I just don't. Well, sometimes, you know, people are good. There are good liars out there. Well, let me ask you this. Are you a good truth teller? Do you have a man? No, I don't have, I don't have a man anymore. I've been single for three months. Who, who broke up with that? Who broke up that relationship? It was me because he was abusive. Is he in jail right now? Uh, no, but the cops put him out. <laughs> The cops what? Put him out. He had to leave. But he was abusing you. Yeah. On he what? Had an ex put on him. He what? He was putting his hands on me, choking me, and putting me up against the wall. Well, ma'am, did you pick him as your like your boyfriend, or like did he just come into your life? <laughs> yeah. Did Did you pick him as your boyfriend? Did you pick him as your boyfriend, yeah, or did he just come into your? Or did he just come into your life magically, like, like a, like, you know what I mean? No, I met him online. I met him online, and then we dated for like a year and eight months. And how how's that working out? I had to break up with him. He was abusive. And he left. <laughs> so you would say that you pick based on you pick um, that man based on 
his appearance, not his character, correct? Yeah, probably, yes. I would say so. There's your answer, audience. Modern women pick based on your appearance, not your character. And if you're picking on that, what just happened to you, ma'am? Two, three months ago, what happened? Say it loud. I want to yeah. hear it. Did he abuse you? Yeah, I was. Yes, he did. So, you know, ma'am, <laughs> you know, you've been cool, though. I'm, I must admit, you've been cool. Um, I don't know, man. Do you date black men? I've never dated a black man. I've had several, several black men friends, but never dated them. Out of all the black men. I'm not opposed to it. Okay. I'm not opposed to it because the only thing that's different is skin color, and I'm not racist. Yeah, I mean, there's people that don't want to date, you know, based on their race. That doesn't make them racist, though. That just means that they're... Right. No. That, that, that just opposed. means that they're actually, you know what I'm saying, being in their, for their own race, basically. Oh, here, let me, let me put this... It's going to get rid of... It's going to let you go. Here, let me X this, and I'll put you in the box. Hold on. No, Hold she's on cool. Just a Hold on, just a minute. She's cool, but we gotta move on. Good call. No issue with that. See, I knew I, I knew this long time ago that they picked based on appearance. And so this is why like when the when the good looking guy fucks with them, they're like, yo, I don't wanna settle. Okay. What's going on, ma'am? Hard. You have kids? Yep. How many kids do you have? Just one. Are you with the father? Fuck no. Why do you say it like that? This is a man that did come inside of you, right? I don't want to be with him. But why'd you say it like that? This is a man that did, you know, bust a nut inside you, right? I don't want to be with him. Who ended that relationship? Huh? Who ended that relationship? I did. Well, on what grounds? Because I almost miscarried and he refused to go to the hospital with me. Does he co-parent with you? Does he pay child support? Yes. How much does he pay? Why does it matter? Because you're on this dating app. That's why it matters. And I'm going to ask you questions no, while I'm in here. What's that? My personal life doesn't matter. Ma'am, it does matter. I mean, no offense, ma'am. Your personal life is showing on your face. Because I got I to gotta ask, right? What is that? It's what is this? Thing. What is that? <laughs> no, no, I'm just real. There's a difference between being ignorant yeah, and being real. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. See, I see why your baby daddy left you. I see why. It's a goddamn pimple. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And when she's giving slop a toffee, she's going to tell you that same thing, right? And then niggas is at the doctor talking about, hey, man, I got a lump down there. Fuck out of here, bozo. <laughs> like, this is so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh man, it, it's messing up. Hold on. Okay, we'll come back to her because she said it's messing up. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know. Let's see. I'm trying to skip over faces. Let's go with her. Let's see. You gonna let me in? What's going on? Thank you, baby. What's going on, ma'am? Nothing. What do you mean, what's going on? Where are you, you lo Where are you located? In Mexico? You got your tatas out tonight. How much money you make from them? Yeah, Mexico. You in Mexico? Your Wi-Fi sounds like it's down at the border. Yeah. Who's that in the background? That's correct, sir. I'm just a piece of shit. Your, your mom. 
That's been a long dude. Yeah, Guys, her, her connection's trash. She got a nice rack, but her connection's trash. I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Connection is literally trash. Uh, let's see who else we got. Let's go here. Let's see. Certified truce. Hello. What's going on, man? Hello. How are you? I'm doing good. Um, what are you looking for off this dating app? The love of my life. Okay. So, if you go on a date with a guy and he orders a cheeseburger, yep. and he or actually, yeah, he he orders a burger, but he doesn't want cheese on it. Is that a no? De is that like a red flag for you? Not at all. Now, what about of women that actually think that's a red flag because he ordered cheese on a hamburger? He wanted a cheeseburger. Who cares? That's what what does that tell me about it? Nothing. Well, ma'am, I'm doing a story right now, a viral story of a woman literally walking out on her date that she picked because he ordered cheese on his hamburger. Literally. The dating world is crazy. I can't explain her logic. That sounds wackadoo to be that picky. And see, you know, there's women out here that actually really want to get a man like this lady. I tried to date you. I'll put the date box back up. No, I suck at dating. Roy. You know, I believe she's being honest too. I do. But the, the point of why I did that is because it just goes to show you that <laughs> The mindset is crazy. Like now they they're so confused. I told you, man. They either believe lies. I think they really believe lies. You know. But let me see if I can get a, a one on one. That'll be better for me. Uh, okay. Have a good night too, Johnny. Uh oh. Cat. Click that. So where are you from? Uh well, came from my daddy's ball sack. I bought that yeah. from mom's cooter. Not much in West Virginia. Since then, it's kind of raised here, and that's where I reside now. Class, in what year was one plus one? The answer is the Amazing Ralph. Yeah! Hi, Lisa. Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. I'm learning. It just didn't work out. This I mean, literally all up in my business for no reason. It's a long time, fellas. But, but we can wait. It's okay. We can no wait. Thanks. Oh yeah, let me put this my sword down. Elsewhere, I gotta... Take that Where are you from? Well, originally from my dad's balls. Came out in my crack And now let's see. I love how you had to throw that in there. What, the crackhead part? Yeah. Oh, she, she like, she for real crackheads. Yeah, okay, okay. Major Mom, violator in Los Angeles. Angeles. I watched that cocksucker operate with impunity for over 10 years, and now I got it. The shit's chess, it ain't checkers. I don't, I don't get it, man. I um, watched something they crack before. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do cocaine. They do it, it's not enough. Jazz, really. It's kind of the same thing, basically. It's just cut and, you know. Yeah. How dare y'all correlate those two? I gotta do what I gotta do. But there's no oxygen on Mars. Yeah? That means there's no oxygen for him either. That Martian wants a fight, he'll get a fight. Oh my god. Okay. I feel like backing out, man. This is boring. Okay, I guess I'm next. Does anybody not know that or what? Say crack is five dollars. <laughs> Bullshit. I don't know. Crack goes a lot more around here. They literally. They, I mean, people do like the Coke straight though because then they can. <laughs> yeah, Yo, this is wild. With themselves, but... This is wild, man. Hmm. Um, you're right back at you. Thanks for proving yourself to me, man. That's what's up. What's going what's on? Up, what's going on, man? 
Uh, hold on, nothing more than everything. What's going on with you? Nothing much. The last guy you talked to, do you think he's uh, attractive in your eyes? Do you think he's attractive? Yeah. Would you go on a date with him? Would I go? I mean, I just did. A virtual one. Man, I'm talking about in real life. I mean, yeah, if, if I have kids, you probably. If you didn't have what kids? You? What's Would that? you go on a date with him? He's like a pretty decent guy, right? So you're calling me gay. That's what you're going to call me. No, I'm not calling you gay. I'm asking you a question. No answer? Ma'am, ma do you have kids? I do, actually. I have custody of my 16-year-old niece. So you have kids, right? Your own kids? Not of my own, but I have custody, yes. Okay. Are you a virgin? No. So the guy that you lost your virginity to, why... You why not going on a date with him? Why wasn't Why wasn't he good? Why wasn't he good enough? Well, it wasn't that he wasn't good enough. It was just more or less I didn't want to get the shit beat out of me anymore. So you mean to tell me a man takes your virginity and then now he's just a monster and he's beating you up, right? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> See, this is why I didn't answer your stupid question because I don't believe your ideology. My stupid question. Yeah, you stupid fucking guy. right. People like you. Yeah, yeah. Your stupid question. You want me to come back and say it again? Yeah, your stupid question. People like There's me what? People back. people like me what? I said you baffle me. Oh, okay. Because, ma'am, you can't act hard with me over social media because you're in the virtual world. I live in the real world. When I log, when I log, when I log off, when I log off, I'm outside. When you log off, you back online. When you're outside. No, baby. That, that's different. Yeah, okay. You mean nothing about me. Yeah, okay. Where are you from? This is the past time. Where are you from? And I keep on my mind. See, guys? I didn't hear you. See? See the see the see what she's doing? She's playing this little game thing. I get what she's doing. I, I can catch it so easy. That's why I'm just sitting here, right? Because I know that that's what she's doing. She's trying to play stupid. She's trying to play stupid, right? That's what she's doing. She's trying to play stupid. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want to answer nothing. Is making me stupid because I'm not capable of hearing you. Make that make sense. No, ma'am. You need to make it make sense. You have your phone right up close to you. How can you not hear me? Make that make sense. Because you decided to talk when I was talking. And by the way, you're being disrespectful. You're smoking while you're having a conversation. So how are you really paying attention in the conversation? Make that make sense. Make that make sense. I'm gonna do two things at once. Yeah, okay. Are you not? Like, yeah, okay. You grow up with like that? This is what like, this is why I'm, this is this is what I'm talking about. Stimulation and penetration. This is what I'm talking about. Mind. Audience on YouTube. This is the modern woman right here. This is the games they play right here. I tell you I tell you guys. Hold on, let me let me let me, let me mute her. Hold on, let me mute her. See look, boom, she's muted. Now watch she's going to disappear, watch. So guys on YouTube, this is what I'm talking about. There's no point. This kind of woman just the way she's talking, she's putting on this act online. Why? I don't know why. She has to, she's a fake person. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, she's a fake person trying to get into the real world. She's been fake her whole life. She's been fake her whole life. So when somebody like me <laughs> comes in here and brings some truth, oh my God, I don't know what the fuck, what's going on. So ma'am, it's okay. Smoke your weed. Here, let's make her, she makes, she makes cool faces. So let's, Let's make it. Let's make it a little bit bigger. All right, so ma'am, smoke your weed. You're muted on my end. So, whatever you got to say, because you like to run your mouth. Whatever you got to say, go ahead and say it. What are you going? What What are you going to be a Karen? Huh? You going to be a Karen? You know what I'm saying? I feel honestly, honestly, audience. This goes out to the women that listen to me. Women that listen to me, you got to ask yourself, why do women act like this? Why? Why do they have to be so fake? <laughs> like, why, why do they wake up every day to be so fake over something as of a question? What happened? Where'd she go? What's going on now? Thank you. <laughs> uh, there was this thing. I, I forgot what it was. I forgot what it was. It was something. Look, look. She, look she's like, oh, look, look, look. So, man, the big fat black guy is giving you attention. 
So now you feel, now you feel, let me guess, now you feel beautiful, right? Because a black man of my caliber is giving you my attention, so now you actually feel good, right? Guys, <laughs> you hook up with this kind of woman, bro. And make sure you use a condom. Because if any little bit of semen gets inside of her and it, and it, and she absorbs it, she's going to absorb your fucking paycheck too, my guy. So anyway, we wasted enough time with this bozo. Actually, wait, we got to give her the bozo clip. Hold on. Let's give her the bozo clip because I know Turan and all the other people are going to enjoy it. Hold on. Let me give you a bozo clip. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me, I got to find it. I don't even know where my clip is. Uh, okay, here's the bozo clip. Bozo? Right. No. Oh, she's got a clip. B-O-C-O. Sorry. I... You've never heard of Bozo the Clown? No. How could you not know who Bozo the Clown is? I don't know. I just don't. How can you call yourself a clown and not know who Bozo is? <laughs> bozo the Clown. Look, she's still smoking weed. Look. Oh, let me say this before I go. So this is the modern this is the modern woman, right? Understand understand what she does. She wakes up in the morning, she goes to her job, she's a slave to her supervisor. Then she comes home, she gets on social media, and she rejects who she is on other people, and she tries to gaslight other people into believing lies, into the nonsense. That's what she does. See, ma'am, I'm too uh, I'm too methodical for you. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. So don't worry, you're going to be waking up tomorrow. I don't know if that was her, but you're going to be waking up tomorrow and you're going to be like, oh, what happened? So that's okay, ma'am. You sit on your app and do what you got to do because somebody challenged you and you couldn't take the challenge. All right, you couldn't take the challenge. So it was too difficult. Yeah, he is your father. He's very too young to be your father. What's going on? What's going on? Um, just hanging out with my friends who have to do this cult meeting and then play video games. What about you? Well, I'm chilling. I'm looking for um a sexy black woman like you to uh oh, wow. to get some stuff popping. Okay. Do you want to have kids? <laughs> There's so many around though. Why me? Because you're right. You're right in front of me. I go after things that are right in front of me. But um, do you want to have kids or no? Absolutely not. Why? Why don't you want to have babies? Make that make sense. Um, because there's way too many people in the world. They stop you from doing what you want to do. Um, it's really not necessary. My body would change. They take a lot of time and effort. Kids also, they have really tiny hands that, that freak me out. And they always have snot, just lots of snot. But your mom and dad did take care of you, so you can come into the world, right? So you can they do, so you can do what you're, sure so you can do what you're doing now. And you know you got your gifts of beauty from your mom and dad. You do know this, right? So life of children is a beautiful thing, correct?
I, I, I hear what she's saying, but Why it's like. Focus on the president. Why can't we make the president good? You know, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to attribute to this earth. Not another cute little girl that goes around here so you guys can try to manipulate and get into her pants and then convince to have another fucking child. No. I'd rather there it is. something to society that will change it forever so maybe there won't be such a firing into it. That's what I her want. Her connection, and though. And don't question Einstein or anyone of, like, any man that is doing something great or trying to do something great. They're not like, oh, where's your children at? They let them be fucking smart and change the world and set that oh, that's another contribution. So, man, this is this is the cycle of life. What like like fish, right? When we catch fish and eat fish, there has to there has to be a mother fish to make more fish, so we can continue to catch fish and eat fish. Like this is literally the cycle of life, man. But you know what's also the cycle cycle of life? Your body decaying and decomposing into the earth. And that one day he possibly turned into fossil fuels and all that kind of shit. Like that that's really the cycle of life. Like we're literally stardust. We're just these these organisms and all these little atoms and things that will go back into the earth and the universe regardless. Yeah, I agree with that, but this is this is what we're supposed to do though. You know what I'm saying? Traditional traditional families and traditional people, this is how our society is thriving. Where you don't have to worry about the world so much. And the only reason why you can worry about the world so much is because you have access to the to the world. Before life used to be boring, people used to just do boring stuff. We never even we never even was on the internet like that. I'm yeah, older than was boring. I think they were fighting for their survival and only lasting until they were fifteen years old. Yeah, so yeah. So I think scraping to survive isn't that fun for me. I also think what we're doing right now isn't that fun for me either. I try, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you, you can never get through. Like, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can. It doesn't matter, bro. Trust me, it doesn't matter. I already went over this. I said, even if it's wrong, they go with it. It's wrong. I told you, it's a cycle of life, and it takes a black man in Canada to say this shit. It's pretty crazy. But man, you'll learn. You will learn. Don't worry. <laughs> You will let. You will definitely learn. You will definitely, definitely learn. What's going on? My shit. What's that? I can't see you. You can't see. Me. Nope. How can you not see me? Okay, now I can see you. You got to move over this way, or to your right or left. I guess. I guess not. That's all you control, ma'am, is a block button. Nothing else. Nothing else. I mean, shit, I have a video, right? Um, a guy, he literally robbed a woman in front of her newborn baby, bro. It's crazy. What up? What's going on? How old are you? I'm 20. Okay. Do you work? I go to college. What are you taking in college? Medical assisting. Okay. How much is tuition and how many years before you're an undergraduate or before you complete? It's only 10 months and it's $21,000. Who pays for this? <laughs> Why does it matter? Man, we're having an honest conversation. Who pays for this? I'm just curious. My parents? Mommy and daddy? Yeah. Are they still together? No. So they both shared income to get you to go to college? Yeah. Okay, do you live with your mom or your dad? I live with my grandparents. Okay. What are they, so right now, are you dating right now? No. Why, why not? Why don't you want a, a man? Because... I don't need a man. I can do it myself. <laughs> Here we go. Are you a strong, independent woman? I sure am. <laughs> How so? 
Please tell me. The floor is yours. I don't know what's cold, but... She won't even tell me. Look. I'm just... Whatever I say, I am. Interesting. What up, Drew? Interesting. Right? She got all this going on, and this is how somebody acts when they got all this going on. Come on. Come on, guys. We got to be smarter than that. We got to be smarter than that. She has nothing going on. She's making up things. Making it up as she goes along. Maybe she is in school. But I'm pretty sure if she was in such a dedicated student, she wouldn't be rolling up weed at 10.05 uh, Canada time. Right? She'd be in, in the book studying. What's going on? Where are you from? How old are you? Thank you. Bo, 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 bozoness. All right. So the reason why I'm doing this is because it just goes to show you. The woman that went on a hinge date, she got up and left, right? Because the guy, the guy ordered cheese on his burger. Now, if you ask yourself, what are modern women doing on this thing? They're getting up and leaving because you disagree, because they disagree with you. So I'm just putting it so you guys can see. What's going on? Nothing much. You? Nothing much. Do you ladies have kids? What's that? I can't hear you. What? Do you like baby mamas? Is that your favorite? Well, first of all, do you have kids? Yeah, I could have like four kids. Are you guys with the baby fathers or not with the baby father? So you're okay. So you're a baby mama. You have four kids, right? <laughs> what did you say? I'm sorry. I'm laughing really hard. I said you're a baby mama. You have four kids or no? Do you have any kids? Are you a father? Yes. Yes. Family? What's that? So, ma'am, I, I mean, ma'am, you can crack jokes all you want. At the end of the day, your reality is the joke. Because you have four kids, I don't. I have one child. <laughs> by one woman. One child One child by one woman. You have four kids by who? By God knows who. By God knows who. But I know one thing. I ain't your baby daddy. I'm not him. I'm not him. What the fuck was that? Thank you. I'm not him. <laughs> Are you crazy? No, I'm no, 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 no. no. Uh, let's see. There's a couple new faces on here. Finally, I think I talked to her before. Like what? But yeah, hinge date. <laughs> I just think it's crazy. I just do. But you're going to see more of that, guys. You really will. You're going to see like two people going on, on a date and then it's going to be, well, hey, he, he didn't order what I wanted him to order. What's going on? Oh, good. Nothing much. Are you at home with your mom or something? What's going on? No. You have kids? I'm not. No. How old are you? Too so, old. Um, You're too old. So how old is that? Too old. So how old is that? Too old. <laughs> So, 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 so it's funny because it just shows why a man, a real man, good character man, he ain't gonna deal with this shit. He's just not gonna do it. Why? For what? What? What's he dealing with this for? Where you got? Where do you ladies live at? Why would we tell you where we live at? What city? I mean. 
See how they answer the question? What a question. Isn't that crazy? So, ma'am, do you believe lies? Or you don't care and don't know? Which one is it? What the hell is that? I accepted it. I don't know. Thank you. They believe lies. You <laughs> see how it works? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I get the weird. We get, I get the weird. I'll leave my audience. Like, what? Ma'am, you literally believe lies. I might have to get an audio. Hold on, let me see if I can find an audio for you guys. Because that's what it boils down to, man. They believe lies. I don't believe lies. Screw that. Um, let's see. So yeah, man. It just boils down to the the, the girl. You know, she doesn't want a guy to order cheese on her on his burger. Like get the f out of here. So, you know, man, that's why they chronically single. That's why you see them walking around with dogs. That's why you see them doing all this kind of weirdo shit. And you have to sit back and wonder, like, what? That's it. Uh, okay, really? Damn. Because uh, what's about to go down? They're not ready for it. Yeah, they got Butterfly, they got Maxwell Jr., Playing my dad's Maxwell. His name's Brenda. Yeah, they're not ready for it, man. They're really not ready, man. That's why I asked them about the chocolate thing. So, to tell you guys, yeah, um, from what I was listening to Joe Rogan, he was saying that uh, chocolate, there's chocolate. Oh, oh, let me let me pull it up, actually. Hold on, let me pull it up. Okay, because I looked it up myself. Like, when they say something, I don't just... Oops, wrong one. I almost left my screen there. So I'm going to read it, okay? Okay, hold on a second. There was an article. I think it was... Yeah, I think this is it here. No, that's not it. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. I think I know what I'm going to put. So you got to put chocolate. I think you have to put that. And then you put that up here. Yeah, there it is right there. That's what you got to do. See, if you put chocolate like that, it won't come up. So what it says, child labor and slavery in the chocolate industry, child labor and slavery in the chocolate industry. Chocolate is a product of the coca. Yeah, coca bean, which grows primarily in the tropical climates of Western, uh, Western Africa, Asia and Latin America. The cocoa bean is more commonly referred to as the coca. So that is the term. Uh, that will be used throughout this article. Western African countries, mostly Ghana and the Ivory Coast, supply, supply about 70% of the world's coca. Um, yeah, coca. I might put, yeah, coca. Uh, the coca they grow and harvest is sold to a majority of chocolate companies. See this right here? All right. Including the largest in the world, Okay. In the past few decades, a handful of organizations and journalists have exposed the widespread use of child labor and in some cases slavery on coca farms in Western Africa. You can't make it up. There it is right there. So these people that live, they don't even know where the chocolate comes from. Just like when you buy an electric car, you don't even know where the battery of the cobalt. Now they are trying to make Electric uh, cars without the cobalt. They are trying to do that. But, you know. Um, so child, um, child labor has been found on cocoa farms in Cameroon, uh, Guinea, uh, Nigeria, and uh, Sierra, Sierra Leone. Um, although since most of Western African, sorry, Africa's coca is grown in Ghana and the Ivory Coast, the majority of child labor cases have been documented in, in, those, in those two countries. In recent years, evidence has also been served of both child labor and slavery on coca farms in Brazil. Coca workers, they face many of the same abuses as those on the coca farms in Western Africa. 
right? It says, over the years, the chocolate industry has become increasingly secretive, making it difficult for reporters to not only access firms where human rights violations still occur. But these people, the average person goes gets chocolate and they don't care. That's crazy. So anyway, I don't want to go too deep with it. There is your information. I don't have to make up things. So it's pretty crazy, right? Right. Journalists who went undercover in a cocoa farmers, documented travelers in Ghana selling children to them for thirty five dollars a child. These children were liberated and social workers reunited them with their families. So, you know, man, this is this is where this is what I'm saying. Okay, so anyway. They don't care. Right? As long as they have as long as they, man, listen, do you know how we have luxury to have like water to go to the grocery store and get food? Like we have a luxury. That's not most countries don't have that. So it's a it's a luxury. It's not it's not something guaranteed. And and I'm telling you right now, as the time goes on, it's not gonna be guaranteed. That's what I believe. Why do you think this financial um, banks are uh, like Silicon, the Silicon, um, the Silicon Bank? How come it's collapsed? That's why I've been saying for the longest time it's going to collapse. There's no way this is not sustainable. Like none of it is, you know, none of it is, man. Um, there was another. So I'm going to scroll down. Actually, let me go to new and see if I can get a one-on-one -on -one conversation. That'll be good. But yeah, man, at the end of the day, man, that's where the chocolate comes from. When Joe Rogan said that, I was shocked. So I did my own research and found out that is very true. So the average person that buys a chocolate bar doesn't even know where the chocolate originates from. That's crazy because they do it in a secretive, you know, but we're in the age of information. So anything that anything that's uh, in the shadows has to come to the light. How about you? These are the guys they talk to? Wow. Uh, let's go down. So do you. I talked to her before. Oh, yeah, there was a terrorist attack up here in Canada, by the way. Rest in peace to the victims. It was a lot. It was like, it, but it was so like hidden. It was crazy. It was crazy hidden. Oh man, it was so crazy. I mean, this woman was eating a full meal. Um, but yeah, it was it was hidden, bro. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. But hey, man. Then I posted the short about the 18 year old. You put cute too, Amy. You really cute, Amy. <laughs> 18 year old trying to rob men <laughs> off of dating and streaming services. That's crazy, man. I never knew that about the Bible. Hold on, let me let me play that too. Let me do a reaction video. Um. What is it called again? It's called um Oh, okay. Yeah, here it is here. This was look look at this shit. Fifteen minutes. That there he is there. Okay? Yeah, okay. This one this one will be this one will be good. So I'm going to do a reaction video to this. Wait, so he's saying with auto care, I'll be able to review work anywhere? Uh, I was ready. Review service updates wherever you are with auto care. All your auto needs, all at Canada's garage. Two men are... And by the way, there's a... Um, there is a commercial, man. I was watching one of the games, NBA games. There's a commercial. And the guy's like... The guy's like... Uh, he's at a gas pump. He's literally holding a gas pump in an electric car. A guy's driving by. It's like, oh, I wish that was me. It's like, no, man. But anyway, this this happened a couple days ago. Check it out. Are dead and one man is in police custody facing murder charges. This after a 38-year-old suspect allegedly used his pickup truck to plow through a group of pedestrians in Quebec's Gaspé region. Witnesses describe the scene as horrific. 
a pickup barreling down the road and mowing down multiple pedestrians. Two men were killed and nine That's others crazy. were injured in the incident, which happened Monday afternoon while pedestrians were walking the main downtown road in the quiet eastern town of Amqui, Quebec, about 650 kilometers northeast of Montreal. A man in his 60s and another in his 70s died on scene. Quebec Provincial Police say the driver was arrested after he turned himself in at the local police station. Crazy. He faces multiple charges. A preliminary investigation shows the collision was most likely a voluntary act, according to police. Officials say three of the injured suffered serious wounds and were in critical condition, while six others were being evaluated for non-life-threatening injuries. Provincial police would not discuss a possible motive at this time. Quebec's public security minister, François Bernardel, and other politicians will be on site at the scene this morning. Emergency services. You know, it's crazy, man. I sit back and I just like, man, it's dangerous out here. Uh, it's the social media, man. A lot a lot of it is the social media inflation. I talked about it. Um, so... Uh, is it Blue Fizz exposed to Christian... Krishan's dirty laundry that's been piling up for a month. Well, I mean, I mean, she's not going to do your laundry, bro. She's not going to do her own laundry. Scary where we live in, and this is why men have trust issues. A whole fraud out here. Yeah, we know that. Been already talking about that for a while. I guess this Irish woman stabs a man in the back of the head. Look, disgruntled client at a car dealership stabs owner's son. It's so crazy. Look, dude pushes a disabled student's wheelchair down a flight of stairs. Uh, while she's using the bathroom. That's some sucker shit. Got herself a felony. Woman got pulled over for a broken taillight. And she kept making uh, things worse for herself by the second. Because they don't know. They don't care. They believe lies. Aliens have visited our solar system. Pentacom report says. Been already talking about that. You can hear the hurt in his voice. Dude catches his girl cheating on him with another man. This is why a guy like me will stay single. Because I, I refuse. <laughs> and then look. Horrifying. Journalist pretends to be drunk to show... How often women get sexually harassed. Why you followed me into my mo my hotel room? This is a sucker. This is a coward. Cowards, real men don't do this. So, you know, man, it, it, it's the stories, right? Um, I guess Black China, she's going to, she said that OnlyFans is a dead end. And, um, all right, she said OnlyFans, OnlyFans is dead end. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, let's go back. Uh, I guess Black China is changing her ways, man. I know modern women see that and they're like, yo, what's going on here? And I mean, that's, you know, you grow, but it's like, I mean, they say, I mean, the women have to say that, that their body count doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. And the reason why, because I figured it a long time, the reason they say a, a, a woman's body count doesn't matter is because they're like, any man will take me. Even if they have to get a man they don't respect, they're willing to get a man that they don't respect because he he doesn't care about her count of a body count. That's why. That's why. That's literally why. So, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> you know... Like, you know what I'm saying? It's so crazy. I can't. So, so this is what they're doing on a dating app, right? I've exposed it. Look. Oh, 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 let me, let me pull my short up. Let me find it. I think it, what was her name? Jasmine Ugg. Hold on. Just so you know, just because I want to continue. Just for a minute. Jasmine Ugg. I just want, I just want to show you. And she was involved in a carjacking, by the way. Teen date robbery. Okay, I don't know what this is. Somebody did... Um, there's my short there, and I got 500 views. All right, I know it was kind of whatever, because I do it in a car and shit. But uh, there, should be there should be another one, man. Uh, let's go. I want to show, show you what's out here. Fellas and ladies. Um, right? So ask yourself, why is this modern woman out here robbing men off of dating streaming services? So these women are looking for suckers off of that shit. Right? Mrs. Sagatine arrested for robbing men 
she met online. Also wanted by Toronto police. So this is a wanted woman on a dating streaming service. Look at her condi- Like look, look how she changes the way she looks. Look here to here. Eyelashes, earrings. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Right. So you have this is what they're doing. They're using their bodies as a weapon to rob men and to set people up. That's what they're doing on that app. Just so you know. So you need to you be you better move. Because they're like, well, he's single, so he mu- he must he'll he'll do anything for me. No, 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 no. So guys, don't be a sucker, don't be a bozo, because that's what that's what she's expecting. You know, you have to really vet these women, man. You have to get to know them and vet them, ask them questions, get to know them, see how they're uh, see what kind of vibe they have. You know, as as they say. But just to be out here, actually. <laughs> Not giving an F, bro. That's gonna cause problems, my guy. It's gonna cause a lot of problems for you. All right, I'm you know, I could go on and on and on and on, but I'm not gonna go on and on and on. on. So I, I was out today working, shit like that. So you know, I'm you know, I'll do some more streaming tomorrow night. If not, it'll be Friday, Friday for sure. You know, I've just been busy, man. I've just been chilling. You know, you know? I told, like I said before, I, I never was the one to be on social media. I never really wanted to come on camera all that much. Never really wanted to, but now that the last here I am. Uh, so we talked to her. She's still on here. We talked to her. All right. Let me see, let me see nearby. Let's see if there's any nearby here. All right. So let's go with this one. Look at this shit. Let's see what. She's in Niagara Falls. That's crazy.
in school. She's right, though. She's very right. With all these stupid holidays. Yeah, there's a lot of stupid holidays. You got those Jewish holidays, too, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking along the lines of no TV and no beer, make Homer something, something. Go crazy. Don't mind if I do. What's going on, man? How are you? I'm doing good. How old are you? You never ask a woman her age. Ma'am, how old are you? Mike. I'm old enough to know better. God, she she's not even woman enough to say her age. Ma'am, how many genders is there? One or two or three? Do you support drag queen um, story hour? Plumber. See? See? You got to block him. Ma'am, you can't block the truth. Let's keep going. Where's my music at? Bozo. What a bozo. Living life as a bozo. I did, bitch. You can block me in my face, but I don't give a fuck because I already said what the fuck I did. You're so crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't think I'm a dumb bitch? Look at him, look. What's going on, ma'am? Um, Levin, what's up with you? How old are you? Too old. How old are you? No, oh, ma'am, I asked you a question. How old are you? We're having a conversation. I'm too old. Uh, I'm, I'm dad's age. How old are you? What number is that? Okay, so I'm testing right now. I'm not trying to be a smart ass. Are you drunk? All right. Damn, she's drunk on a Wednesday night. Must suck to be you. See, this is what I'm saying. Do you see it now? <laughs> Why would any man? I still don't understand it. And it's like, yo, it. Well, I kind of do understand. It. They want men they can't respect. It's just that simple. It's very simple. We don't respect you. That's okay. When you when you turn when you get a stalker, can't get mad. I don't want to talk to them fools. No, it's like what? Oh my gosh, she looks nothing like her photos. Look. God damn. Living life, living life with filters on. <laughs> living life with the filter on. Okay, let's go. Let's go. What the fuck? No. Yo, that's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Crazy, man. Talked to her before. And I will have to set up, set up a Discord. She's not even on camera. And I think it's a transgender. Has to be a transgender. Voice too deep.
Right? The voice is too deep, guys. Uh, let's see. Right? It's so crazy, man. It's like, yo, I really realize what, what the play is, man. I realized it a long time now. I'm glad everybody's starting to see it now, though. See, when I first started coming on here talking, nobody wanted to believe me. Everybody thought I was just, you know, conspiracy theory, making up shit. No, man. That's not what it is, man. I have no reason to make up lies. They just live their life based off of lies. It's actually pretty sad. I'm going to go see a new tech tomorrow. How are you? I'm good. How old are you? What? I'm good. How old are you? How old am I? Yeah. 46? How old are you? I'm 34. Okay. Do you have kids? One. You? I have one as well. Um, How come you're not with the father? You don't even know like who I'm with or not. Like You just came off like, damn. So you're with the father and you're on a dating app? Why? Most people don't use this as a dating app. It's called a stream. Like this is a streaming app, right? So, here where I'm on. so you're with the father. How long have you been with the father? You know what? I ain't doing all this tonight. Thank you. She lies. <laughs> this is how you see right. when they lie. You see we that shit? The the you see what I'm we're, saying? We're good. We're good. They're dismissive of the truth. Thank you. Perfect example. Let me say it again. They're dismissive of the truth. It's perfect, right? It shows you. They're dismissive of the truth. It's dismissive. I'm just going to dismiss this. I would never ever date a woman that's dismissive of logic, reasoning, understanding. I would never do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Because even when you get the box, I'm, I'm pretty sure... When you get the box, it's not even worth it. I, I can almost put my finger on it. It's not even worth it. You're like, yo, I just smashed her, and it was the lamest shit ever. It's like I went through all that all that headache for nothing. She's still on here? Wow. Look, that same guy's on there. Look. <laughs> it's the same guy. Talking about it's that certified guy. I gotta do what it's I gotta do. Guy. But there's no oxygen on Mars. Yeah, that means there's no oxygen. I was thinking along the lines of no TV and no beer make Homer something something. Go crazy. Don't mind if I do. So guys on YouTube, this is what they do. They have no life. They don't even go outside. That's how crazy it is. Their life is being on a dating app, talking about nothing, absolutely nothing. And they do it every day. But these are the same people that are going to make threats to me as if they're going to really do something to me and knuckle the fuck up in real life. These people are bozos. If any of these people got in a ring with me, I would box their head off for charity. I would literally box their head off for charity. Get Jake Paul on the phone and tell Jake Paul to set something up. Because you can get Jake Paul to set something up. I'll box any of these fools. Any. But we already know. They just come on the app and they talk about nothing. So, ma'am, go ahead. Talk about nothing. Go ahead. Why are you wasting talk time? about talk about nothing. Go ahead. I'm waiting. I don't want to talk to you. Talk about You're nothing. Not talk about nothing. Look, I'm going to mute you and talk, guys. This is the this is what I'm talking about. Women like this, they just wither away and waste time. This is the reason why they get a deep disdain for what men do, right? They're coming on here for I mean, she can do whatever she wants, right? This is her this is her life. She can do whatever she wants, but just understand like what you do doesn't result you anything that's sustainable. That's a goal. You're just on here for what? Because you're a woman? Fuck out of here, bozo. Well, hey, I have a vagina, and these men that I don't respect are thirsting for my vagina, so I'm just going to sit here like this. I'm going to sit here like this. Look in the camera. 
Ma'am, you're probably broke as fuck. And on top of that, you probably do men so dirty that these fools don't even see it. But I'm able to see it. So, ma'am, get back on your app. Do what you do. I don't want to talk to you. You can kick rocks all day, every day. All day, every day. Bozo. Now, go run your mouth on that one. These are the people? Really? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. So, yeah, I'm going to say what I have to say to you, Bozo. Yeah, I'm going to say what I have to say to you. I don't respect it. Never will. The reason why I did that is because she was, she's was she been on this shit. For someone that, 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 that said they look so good and got it going on, why are you not out here providing that and showing us? That's what I haven't. They haven't answered that question yet. So that means that one, the personality is trash. Two, they treat people like shit. That's why real men and men that actually understand what the dating game is, they don't want to fuck with it. They'll hook up, but they don't want to mess with it. So, ma'am, you lose once again because you're a fuck girl. And we got to start. We got to start saying that. Instead of saying fuck nigga, you're a fuck girl. That's what you are. You've been that your whole life. Just because you have a cell phone doesn't mean it's going to change. Yeah? Like, this is what you do? Cool. Do whatever you want. So, basically, what she's saying is, hey, I can come on here, but, yo, because you question why I come on here, you can't. Man, get the fuck out of here. I'm going to do whatever I want to do. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying, bro. These people are on here to gas... I'm, I'm going to start... I'm going to have to start saying these people are on here to gaslight people. I'm starting to believe that. Every day that I do this, I'm starting to believe they're on here... She's on here again? Bro, that's crazy. She's on here again. And fellas, don't do what she does. She sits in her she sits in her house and just eats. And then figures out what what kind of piercing she should do next. And that's her, that's her life, that's her choice. But but don't do what she does. <clears throat> don't do what she does. Cuz if you do what she does, you're going to end up homeless. That's my whole point. Don't do what she does, because if you do what she does, you're going to end up homeless. man. But she has the luxury to do this because she lives at home with mom and dad. She doesn't work. She probably does drugs. Whatever it is, that's cool. It works for her. But don't do what she does. Don't do what she does. I'm just telling you. These are the kind of men that she talks to. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. That's absolutely crazy. See, you know, man. Oh my God. Look at her. Look at her fingers. Really? <laughs> man. I it was a dispensary for drugs. I don't know. I don't need to. So, you know. Thanks for the off. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna entice in it. You know why? Because I already said what I had to say. The end of the, at the end of the day, what it is is, and this is what I realized too. This new generation, they haven't been through nothing, but they know everything. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. They haven't been through anything, but they know everything. They literally think they know everything. So they can sit and be entitled and then try to judge everybody else based on how they live their lives, whether it's man, woman, whatever it is. But because you have the luxury. But don't worry. The luxury is going to be, it's gonna be taken away from you, man. And we're going to see. We're going to really see who's built for what. Because if, if, if you can't take out your money to buy buy this, buy this your bag of chips that you like, what are you going to do then? That's what I'm trying to figure out. What are you going to do then? Huh? When you can't take out money, huh? What happens if, what happens if uh, there's a war or a nuclear attack or the power goes out or there's the supply chain uh, or there's a volcano that erupts? What are you going to do? You, well, uh, this is what I'm trying to figure out. Like, what are you literally going to do? You're just going to sit and, and think that... I, I don't know. I don't know. But hey, that's cool. Do whatever, man. I know I'm taking care of my family, though. Mom, dad, nephews, nieces, uncles, whatever. <laughs> Grandma, uh, you know, friends, loved ones, and the chicks that respect me, that I respect. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to make sure you're okay. I'm going to make sure you're okay because it's coming. I believe so. 
You know, but anyway, I digress. What's going on, ma'am? Hello. Where are you? Are you in Ukraine? I am. How long you been in Ukraine? Uh, for about five years. So where's the war at? Where is you? What is Ukraine next to? What is you? What is Ukraine next to? Why are you talking about the war for? What? 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 What are the? What are the surrounding countries of Ukraine? I don't care, man. I don't care. So let's mute her. Boom. So guys, this is what I mean. This is the gaslighting that they do. They don't even have nothing to say. They have nothing to say. Literally. Look, you see how quick it is. She can't even point to Ukraine on a fucking map, but she she's gonna she's gonna go to where she's gonna go, and she's gonna be entitled and tell you how it's supposed to go. Yeah, that ain't gonna work for me. Nope, not gonna work. Where'd she go? What happened? Where you go, man? For someone that knows what's what they're talking about, you don't sound very confident. <laughs> I, I just mute you. That's it. It's not not nothing more, nothing less. Right. So the moral of the story is right. If if so the moral of the story, this app is used. You have to agree with everything you say, everything they say, even if it's a lie. You have to go on with the lie. And so my response is, how is that working oh today? There's a video that I could show you. When I asked these women, I said, hey, uh, what would happen? Uh, let me see if I can find my Instagram. Hold on. I said, what would happen if? <laughs> anyway, man. I said, what happened if three robbers come down? Oh, well, I had my gun. I would I would respond. And I said, you do the ghost thing? Yes, I would do the ghost thing. Okay. Let me show you guys something right quick. Let me show you guys something right quick, if I can find it. It's like the gaslighting is unbelievable. Uh, I think it's this one. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, here it is. Now watch this shit. You're gonna be amazed because I'm very amazed by this. I can't play the full video, but I can stop and show you what I'm talking about. Okay. I can't. I can't show you the full. Video. This was one day ago, by the way. Let me show you. Just let it load. Now, wait till you guys see what, what what's going on here. Okay, you guys ready? Here it is. Look, watch this. I got to pause it, though. I guess somebody shared this. They shared this on, 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 uh, on YouTube. I don't know. They shared it on YouTube, I guess. I, guess. I mean, it might have to be community community thing. YouTube, I'm using this as a, just as a reaction video. So let me come on camera. Actually, I'll make myself smaller. Oh, uh, let's go here. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go there. So take a look at this. So this is a woman getting out of her car, right? And I think this guy is a coward, by the way. But he gets out of his car, right? He got the blicky out. The first thing she did was do what he said, like literally do what he said. Moral of the story is I can't show you the full video. You know how every time I ask them, what would you do with three robbers coming to hell and, and do harm? And they said, oh, I respond. That's a lie. They literally lie. Look what this guy's doing. And her child was there. It's so crazy, right? And this was one day ago. And, they, and this is what they want to live in. This is why they're... Anyway, this is what they want to live in. So, cool. It's not cool, but... Like, I get why they double down on living like this. It's so stupid to me. But, you know, like, you got Jim Karen... I got to look at that video. Uh, flight attendant loses it. Yeah, this this was another viral story. Look, flight attendant loses it after um, backpacker shouts at travelers to let her pass because she only has an hour to reach her connecting flight. Yeah, this went viral. The whole flight was chaos. Okay. Right? A group of girls trying to beat up a guy. Right? So they're out here. They're just violent. I guess that was on no jumper. I don't know, man. They're very violent, man. They're very violent.
at the end of the day. They're very violent. They know they are. They just hide their toxic femininity. Um, let me go do some Tinder stories. You know what I mean? So this is what it is. So this was two days ago. Entitled to my sex life, not even a day before we began talking. Look at this. This guy texts his girl. He says, what's your favorite thing yourself? My independence. How about you? Laugh out. He responds, laugh out loud. Your independence? Question mark. Sounds like something a 16-year-old would say. What would I, what would, what would prefer? I, yeah. What would you prefer? I say, what would be adult enough for you? This is what they responding to text. Enjoy your left hand, Nate. Uh, it, it's so crazy, man. Okay, so that's that one. And then there was another one. This is how, this is not how girls work. <laughs> <laughs> what a cool name. <laughs> it says 35 plus year old female internet dating starter pack. <laughs> I'm strong and independent and know what I want. Empty egg carton. Looking for Mr. Right to settle down with. Bricks. Tired of being fooled around. <clears throat> I don't date anyone shorter than me. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's a funny meme. <laughs> Taking consent to a new level. Yo, that's a funny meme. A friend sent me this. She saw it on Facebook. I'm sure it's been here, <laughs> seen here before, but I knew, I never knew I had such a design flaw. Okay. I don't know what that is. Oh, man, not a single one was able to come as well. Okay, I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, so really, they cannot participate. All right, because dating preferences totally reflect women's value. Okay, a man's age versus age of the women who look who look best to him. So 50, and it's a 20-year-old woman. So I'm thir- I'm going to be 35. So I would be, I don't know, I think I'd probably be like, oh, okay, yeah, so there's the age there. Okay, so 35. Yeah, they're probably, oh, that's pretty cool, 45. So basically, the older it goes, the younger they are, so... The younger it goes, the older the older woman. The younger guys want the older women. 25 is looking for, like, okay. I mean, you know, that's what they say. Not even a grab, just a just a, a, a table with a couple columns making a statement. A woman at her best when she's in her very early 20s period. <laughs> women leave nothing to the imagination anymore, but also stop hiding your body. All these little shits ever happy. When they stop objectifying themselves, just look at any social media platform. They volunteer that that behavior. Women leave nothing to imagination anymore. Not the girls who just go to the gym and do a million ass exercises for just 15 minutes of ass exercise and the rest is taken minor selfless. I'm sorry, mirror selfies. That's what it's supposed to be. I'm getting pretty sick of going to the gym and seeing chicks with painted on clothes so tight I can basically see their pussy lips and asshole hogging the squat rack and leg presses and doing like three sets in between five sets of selfies. <laughs> it's just tiring. And it's kind of, and it kind of is this whole thick culture. It's crazy. So disgusting when I see women dressed like prostitutes in the gym, you don't have to wear spandex and yoga pants. There's plenty of other clothing. I shouldn't have to feel like I'm a strip club. I'm at a strip club. Or sorry, I'm in a strip club when <laughs> I'm just trying to work on my health. It's annoying. And then it says, oh, yes, we are definitely doing this. Who are we? Girls. What do we want? A sweet and cute guy which treats us us uh, as women and is also a nice guy. But who do we date? <laughs> where, do, where do we leave the good guys? Friend zone. It's facts. Uh, 
Yo, this the, the memes are funny. Social marketplace value. Just remember the uh, the pickier you are, the more likely you are to be alone. Women's social marketplace value drops after about twenty five to thirty. A man's uh, sexual marketplace value goes up well into his fifties. Yes. Yes. Uh, so yeah, man, that's pretty much it. I'll be back. I put a couple hours in here, and we will stream it up, man. We will stream it up. Let me know what you think on the video. To summarize this, I do think that going on dates is going to be more difficult for the men that think that they got a catch of a woman on a dating app. Dating apps do not work. That's the moral of the story of today. But you have to understand that and you have to try to move differently and think differently. Think outside the box to find a suitable modern woman.